work in progress presentation. Let's say that you're writing a paper for conference. Um, let's, well, let's say you're working on a thesis and you're not quite finished it yet, um, but you're, you're going to present your work in progress at a conference. How do you do that? Well, something like this. You present your story, right? Um, you can talk about how your thesis has evolved in terms of your topic, focus, question, hy hypothesis, right? So um, how the writing process itself has led you to raise new questions, how what you thought was going to be your thesis has, you know, altered a little bit. And now you're asking um, a slightly different kind of uh, you know, question, right? Um, you could also talk about your understanding of the literature and where your own research will fit in. And this is also very important. Um, if you're doing a thesis as opposed to just a paper, uh, after your introduction, you're going to also want to do a review of the field, a review of the literature in the field. So what have other people said about this topic? And where is your own research going to fit in? So how are you going to engage those, engage those sources? Are you going to disagree? How are you going to disagree? Uh, are you going to answer something that's like, there, is there a gap in the literature that you want to fill? Do you think that the field has somehow misunderstood something and you want to correct that misunderstanding, right? And so again, all of this is going to relate to your researcher roles, right? So how are you, where are you going to place yourself in the context of the field, right? Um, and then how far have you gotten in the research, the extent to which you feel that you have begun to achieve your project's goals, all right? So it's perfectly fine to do that kind of work in progress presentation. Okay, so um, just once again, I'll remind you of the marking system at Queen's. We talked about that very explicitly in the first video. You can also find it described uh, in the same kind of detail uh, on the Queen's College website there. You go to current students and then academic and related policies. Um, there's the mark breakdown, and then you can see the more explicit um, description that I read in the first video on the website there. So, you know, as you're going through writing your papers and thinking about these ideas, keep keep that marking system in mind as well. And hopefully now you can be a very good researcher and see that halo means that you're an angelic researcher. You're you're not you're very good in two ways. You're you're very good um, in terms of your uh, competence, but you're also good in terms of your morals. You're not plagiarizing. <laughs> okay, I hope that's helpful. And that is the end of the academic seminar on research methods.